how do you overcome the deadly effects of comparison? You need to affirm verbally on a daily basis who you are. What do you mean? I'm a child of God. I'm anointed to do this. I have the wisdom to do this. I have the greater one living on the inside of me. I am unique. I'm one of a kind. When God made me, he got rid of the mold. You need to affirm the uniqueness of who you are. If you're tall, thank God you're tall. If you're short, thank God you're short. Don't complain about the way that God created you because if you complain about the way God created you, then you're saying he made a mistake. Shift your focus. Shift your focus. The less you see, the more content you'll be. Focus on the things of God. Focus on what God has anointed you to do. Focus on what you have the ability to do. Focus on what you can do well. If you can sing well, then work on that and become better at it. Not for anybody else's benefit, but for the glory of God. And also renew your mind. According to Romans chapter 12, verse 2, it says, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed or changed by the renewing of your mind. You're going to have to renew your mind with the word of God because it's sad to say that even sometimes the mindset of comparison was put on the inside of children by their parents. They compare one kid with the other kid, and now these two brothers and sisters don't like each other because the mother put them against each other. You're smarter than your sister. Your sister's smarter than you. She has this. You don't have this. Her skin is lighter. Her, your skin is darker. And there's a comparison there that causes sibling rivalry. Renew your mind to the Word of God. Get the old junk out and put new stuff in. Live Matthew 6.33. Seek first the kingdom. Seek first the kingdom of God. What do you mean? In everything that you do, every place that you go, always put God first. Not you, not your reputation, not your name, not your talent. Always put God first. The Bible says in all of your ways to acknowledge him and he'll direct your path. How do you acknowledge God in all your ways? Before you do it, ask him. Don't do it and then ask him, was it okay? Child of God, God wants you to be content. God wants you to be content. And I know that in the midst of this time, it's easy to be discontent. But I believe that if you'll put into operation these simple principles here of putting the word of God first place, learning how to be content. Most of the time, we don't want to learn how to be content when we go through things. We focus on the pain instead of the process. And we miss the lesson that the process wants to teach us. I pray today in Jesus' name that no matter where you are, no matter what you're going through, that you're making a decision. I am going to be content where I am.